Hello everyone, welcome to the table and thank you for tuning in. I wanted to put up a little quick video and I'm going to try and keep this to under 15 minutes so I can just upload it without editing because this is important. Topside Minis has just released multiple scales, different scales for their World War II US ships. Okay, now that might not sound like much to you, but what that means is they're now offering scales besides the 11800. They now have, uh, it's only in PDF right now, let me clarify that too, but I'll, I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. But you now can get your US ships in 12400 and 13000 scale. Okay, why is that important? Uh, because a lot of folks, when they do, depending on their simulation gaming or what they're doing, sometimes scale can be a big deal when it comes to um, naval gaming in your table space. Okay, and so if you play a game and you scale it out realistically with one eight one eighteen hundred scale ships, um, you would need several tables or a parking lot or something to get a realistic sense of scale with you know these ships shooting 14 miles. Saying that this ship can only shoot 24 inches, you know, depending on your game, is kind of like, eh. And so having these different scales is super, super important for uh, maybe a, a naval simulationist gamer. And it's cheap, again. Now, this is like every US ship they have, maybe every ship, but it is a huge amount of ships they have in their collection of these beautifully drawn illustrations. I mean, I still think these are fantastic. You don't have to paint, they look great. I understand nothing quite replaces a miniature, that nice solid, I get you, but for the cost, like 25 bucks, you can get their entire Again, I don't know if it's every single ship they've ever done for the U.S. Navy. I don't want to say that. But it's a huge collection of U.S. ships, top-down line drawings. Even if you don't play them, just want to look at them. I think it's it's beautiful even as a reference. All right, so this right I'm holding. Bump the camera. I'm not in my usual setup. Um, this is one that I got from them that comes on their wood base. So with PDF, that means... They don't get the wood bases and they don't come on sticker paper. It's digital and you got to download it. And so, um, what I did just to demo is this is a 12400. This is the Washington, and then here it is in the 12400 scale, just to kind of show you a size difference. Now, here's the thing this is what I printed onto some sticker paper. I'll show you some other examples. And I had to say, the, the way it printed out, I much prefer theirs and this is probably either just the fact that my equipment is nowhere near what they're using. Um, I don't know how to lighten things myself but if you know how to go in and lighten graphics through a, a PDF you could achieve similar results to this. So this is kind of dark but I still think it's quite, it still looks good. Uh, to give you an example now of the 13000 so I've got that here. So here's the three scales. And I really like the 13000. And we'll talk about, yeah, just, just to say, uh, I was doing, I was getting into 12400. I bought, I have like maybe nine ships or ten. Very small collection. Just enough I can do like Battle of Denmark Strait and then a couple, um, you know, U.S. cruisers and some Japanese stuff. But, this gives me an opportunity to get a lot of stuff, complete out a whole navy, um, but I have to make my own bases. So what I did was I got cardboard, cut it out with an X-Acto blade, and it's still drying. This will actually be done sometime tomorrow because it's a lot of glue. I just take that white Elmer's glue and stick it, pour it all in there, and when it dries, it gives a lot of more stability and rigidity to the cardboard because the way it is, cardboard's flimsy, these old, you know, crush and collapse. But if you can order wood yourself, the wood bases maybe uh, from different places, um, you know, I should, I should check and see if uh, they sell the wood bases because they, when they did their World War I set, I think you get their World, World War I collections in um, different sizes, so they might sell the wood. I'll have to check with them. Or you could just use cardboard, right? Um, different things. Gamers are resourceful. But I wanted to show you that's, that's an example there. But again, if you can lighten up yourself or here's the thing right now, see this is a PDF 
and I put this on large Avery label, like an eight and a half, um, eight and a half by eleven sheet of Avery printer label, and just stuck it on cardboard. I'll show you that real quick. And basically, at that point, then it's just a matter of taking the Exacto blade and cutting out the one that you want. And quite a few fit on a page. And of course, the one three thousand scale, you can fit a lot more ships on a page to print them out. So again, uh, I think it's like a, I don't re remember the prices exactly. Oh, let me just say this real quick. I should have said this at the beginning. As soon as I heard this, I reached out to him. Maybe I did. But I asked him for a coupon because I wanted to show these, but I wanted to buy two sets. And so uh, money, you know, tight. Um, but they, were, they were helped me out there so I could get the 12400 scale and the 13000 scale. So here's some of the 12400s as they look on the Avery paper. So again, if you have a better printer, maybe better paper, or you're good with graphics, you could lighten them up a little bit. Um, they would print fantastic and then cut them out and they look, they look good. You know, I, I'm going to play these on the table uh, once I can get some adversaries. Otherwise, it's just U.S. battleships doing blue on blue maneuvers. Oh yeah, there was one other thing. That, that, that's the basics of the video right there. Hop on this. So one of my thoughts is this is a good way for them to test the waters to see if there's any interest at all. And I say, yeah, there is, because I asked them about this before, and you know they had a lot of stuff going on. But I think if people can hop on and get you know a pack in, in the scale that you want, that will encourage them to maybe decide to go full blown and do what they do with their other stuff, and that's put it on their own. Um, tear resistant paper and everything. I mean, you know, hopefully they can see a market for that because I think it would be fantastic. Um, but now, if you're interested in the 12400 scale, because maybe you have an exhaustive collection already, this is something I thought about um, the basing for ships. So, right now, my ships aren't based, they just sit out on the ocean on the open table, but if I could base these, even if it's cardboard, check this out. So here's the Missouri. I'm going to try and top down this because I was super impressed with this. Alright, because it's 12400 scale and here's my 12400 scale shipped. Now check this out. When I just kind of hovered it was like, well, I don't know, how, how does that line up? And I just lay it on there. And check that out. I'm looking at this from a slight angle, so I might not have it exactly from top down. But their drawing scale is like spot on. Like it is exactly the scale of this mission. So that tells me, you know, a couple things. One, G GHQ, who I got the ship from, um, they did an amazing job <laughs> getting scale and whatnot. Uh, but then Topside Minis did an amazing job with the scale of their ship. So this is like testimony right there. Their 12400 scale is spot on. Spot on. So I have no problem if I was going to just game with these and slowly build up my miniatures collection because sometimes it's hard to know what to get. <clears throat> and, you know, and then you want to put it on a base. We'll see here you could actually use this as your base you got your water coming off it's got the name simple no combat data so you could use that with any game system it's incredible incredible um, so I'm super impressed and again just for scale here's a 1 3000 here's another battleship 120 a lot shorter a lot fatter that's for sure and then finally you put the granddaddy 1800 scale up here. So, yeah, this is this is remarkable. I thought about getting into 13000. I just had never taken the time to purchase miniatures in that size because I'm always afraid about how much detail you lose. I know there are people who complain about the GHQ models and some of their uh, the details and things they put on the ship, but if you go this route, um, you can't go wrong. Even on my cheap printer this stuff looks great so if you want to get into naval war gaming you're gonna to have to wait I don't know when the other nations are coming out I don't I don't work for them at all so I didn't ask so I'm just saying hopefully 
Uh, we'll see, you know, British, Germans, and Japanese soon enough, so you can purchase where you like. But for now, just to start out, like I said, even as a reference, get the U.S. set. The um, you have to go check the prices because I might get this wrong, but I think the entire naval library there for the U.S. that they have um, is twenty-five dollars in the one three thousand. And just over thirty dollars for the one twenty four hundred scale, so definitely check it out. Find a scale you like, and then also it's a great way that you could probably find a scale that you do like for when the other stuff comes out. But I will put the video there. I really don't have anything else to say that could could add to this kind of a just wanting to share this with you because I saw these and I said. Yes, these are things that when I filmed some other Topside Mini videos we had talked about. Some people had said, yeah, they'd be great, but not in that scale. No more excuses. They got scales coming for you. And like I said, you can put them on the Avery label paper, print them out, put them on cardboard, boom, you got a ship. You're playing naval games in just a matter of minutes. All right, everyone, thank you for watching, and uh, I got more stuff coming. I've actually filmed a few things. I've just been lazy in putting it up. And you might see stuff get put up in weird, where I'll mention a date or something. I'm pretty far behind. But I wanted to get this up right away. Because I saw, it was July 15th when I saw the notice for these. So this is just about as close to the release date as I can get. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.